Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Philly Sports 76 bringing you another Sixers recap. Uh, this is the fourth game of the regular season and fifth if you count the preseason game. Um, I got 11 autographs and a couple big autographs, so uh, so not as good not as good as the 20 I got last time, but I think the type of players I got kind of outweighs that. So um, first of all, I'm going to show the autographs. Then, if you if you would stay tuned for um, for a quick little story that I have, it's actually really cool. So uh, stay tuned for that. That'll be at the end. But first of all, um, my sub contest. As I make this video, I'm at 74. I'm only looking for two more. So if you want to join that, you gotta join it real quick. And I haven't had a lot of joint people join it actually. Um, so uh, you probably have some pretty good chances to win. And I also added a Johnny Damon jersey card in there. So uh, yeah, go sub. And comment, I'm in, and I'll get you down for a spot. So, uh, and if you comment after 76, and I haven't made the video yet, I'll still include you, because I'm not just gonna, you know, do that. So, uh, anyway, on the autographs, Sixers versus Pistons. Sixers get the win. Uh, Drew Holiday, as you can see here, didn't get any autographs from him. He's pretty tough. Uh, coming up large, and I think he should definitely be deserving of an all-star uh, to be an all-star, at least for now, how he's playing in the first um, first 20 games. So, no Drew Holiday, no uh, no Jason Richardson. Uh, I printed for Thad, got this 4x6 against the Celtics, it's pretty nice, um, these couple cards. And uh, I decided to go to the Pistons side, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, but I did, I did prepare, and besides, I can get Thaddeus and Darrell Wright any time. And I have cards coming in from check out my cards, but I kind of bought these tickets like two days before the game, so I didn't uh, have the cards come in yet. So no Evan Turner, but um, got some mojo on this page, and I'll just start at start it out. Andrew Bynum, right there. Uh, he it's kind of hit or miss with Andrew Bynum because he he doesn't come out until the national anthems. The national anthem, of course, because he's hurt. So uh, it's really up to him if he wants to sign or not, and if the people who have like the courtside seats show up or not. And I was just fortunate enough to not have them show up. And Bynum was actually standing right next to me the whole time for the national anthem. And then he signed, and I guess this is a good part to get into my story because it has to do with Bynum. Uh, for school, I had uh, we had to write a persuasive essay. And um, I wrote mine as to why the Sixers should give Andrew Bynum a max contract extension because his contract ends at the end of the year. So I actually showed him the paper, hoping he would give it to Adam Aaron, who was sitting courtside, but he said he couldn't do it. But when I showed him the title of the paper, which is uh, why the Sixers should buy Andrew Bynum, he, lo he looked at it, smiled, and kind of laughed and said that he liked it. So that's kind of cool that he, uh, he likes that, but... 101 autograph from Bynum. I uh, had Royale, but he didn't stop because he's hurt also. He didn't uh, sign. And also, Daryl Dawkins. I'm not sure if he's in Hall of Fame or not. Pretty sure. Um, I don't know what he inscribed there. But uh, Daryl Dawkins was at the game. He's most known for shattering those two backboards. Uh, it looks like he wrote Chocolate. Thunder, because that's his nickname, so I guess now that I'm looking at it more, it looks like Chocolate Thunder, so that's cool, and Daryl Dawkins, Nick Young, got real lucky, as soon as the doors opened, Nick Young looked like he was going in, so I had to sprint down to the to the court, and just as he was coming in, uh, he stopped to sign, it looked like he was signing one per, but uh, I was talking to him, and uh, it was, this was his first game back from an injury, so I was talking to him, and I, I told him, that I'm glad you're back in the lineup and glad that um, yeah glad that you're back and uh, after I said that he said thank you and then signed another one so I got him on a prestige came out these two came out really flawless the prestige and on the threads if you can see that they both came out really really nice so did the Bynum and the Daryl Dawkins kind of smeared a little bit at the end but that's fine uh, this was from the parking lot, Lavoy Allen, one of three. I could have got more, but, you know, I don't have much for Lavoy, so I'll just save those for later games. Uh, Lavoy Allen, he was real cool. He must have stopped for at least ten minutes. He was staying there and 
people were just talking to him. He was real nice. And then Spencer Hawes pulled up right behind him and just parked his car and started signing. Uh, this one did not come out too good, but, I mean, it's an autograph, Spencer Hawes. Um, no Kwame Brown. As you can see, I had a ton of these X-Adrenaline things because I actually bought these uh, during the lockout when they didn't have any cards. And they were the only cards on the market, so I have a ton of these. And But anyway, no Kwame Brown. Like I said, no Royale. No Barnett or Malik Waynes. No Doug or Aaron McKee. Aaron McKee's out there for shoot around, but I don't know why. He just goes in a, in the locker room a different way. Uh, I have this Julius Irvin card. Sometimes he's at the games. And other Sixers legends that might just be wandering around. Alright, so that's it for the Sixers. Oh, actually, uh, in the parking lot also, Damian Wilkins on a decoy because he signed all my cards. And like I said, my checkout, my cards are still coming in. Uh, so anyway, went over to the Pistons side instead of the Sixers because they had uh, some pretty nice guys out there. One of them was Brandon Knight. I, I actually went to the Sixers side to get Nick Young. Then I went over to the Pistons side. I had to decoy Brandon Knight because I'm not a big card collector. And uh, like I said, didn't have time to really to prepare for this game, uh, getting cards-wise. So I had to decoy him. And uh, my brother was being a little bit stingy, not wanting to give me the cards. But, you know, a uh, lottery pick of the draft uh, is a decoy, but it's still his autograph. So then I got two of, uh, two of seven from Ronnie Stuckey. It looked like he was signing two per if you had two for him. So threads came out really nice. And an upper deck. These were actually the two cards I wanted him to sign, that or the uh, prestige. But uh, he signed the two good ones. So, Stucky, he was real cool. Tayshawn Prince came out. So, Prince right there. And this is a long video. I want to get my story in. but uh, So, Tayshawn Prince signed one of all those. Corey Maggette, he actually ran right by everybody. So, I heard he was pretty tough to get. And then, finally, I got 2 of 2 from Jason Maxeel. He was pretty cool. Asked for his sneakers, but the security guards are just really, really being jerks for that uh, piston side. I don't know why. But anyway, 2 of 2. They, I mean, there was like 36 seconds left. And we were sitting in the same section as the Pistons were uh, coming in to their locker room. So, like, we just went down the court side, like, with 36 seconds left. And they kick us, kicked us out because we were, we were trying to get, like, a headband or something. And uh, they kicked us out, which was a real jerk move because, like, there's only 36 seconds left. But uh, whatever. So, 11 autographs. Got a Bynum and a Daryl Dawkins and uh, Tayshawn Prince. And a Rodney Stuckey, so, oh, and a Brandon Knight, so those are some pretty good autos. Uh, real quick, my story, um, like I said, the persuasive essay that I showed to Andrew Bynum, I brought it to give to the Sixers CEO, Adam Aaron, who eventually, I mean, he's going to be the one to make the decision whether or not to re-sign Andrew Bynum. I'll give you guys something to look at. I mean, let's just say Nick Young. Uh, so, um... So he makes the decision or not. So I actually, at halftime, I waited almost courtside. And I could have stayed there, but, you know, I wanted to go back to my family, sit with them for the game. But uh, I sat courtside because those guys never showed up. And I was like three rows back, and and uh, Adam Aaron was courtside. So at halftime, I asked the security guard. I showed him the essay, and he said, yeah, Alex, uh, yeah, you can go give it to him. So um, he escorted me over to him. And I gave the paper to Adam Aaron. He said, that's really cool. And he's going to read it. And he took my email ad address. So uh, he's going to read it and let me know what he thinks. He still hasn't emailed me back. It's only been a day. So I'm not going to like rush him for that, obviously. But he, he, the security guard told me he's cool with uh, actually emailing back. So he wasn't just saying that. So, um, so yeah, uh, really, really pumped that uh, the Sixer CEO got to sign I mean got to read my persuasive essay and uh so no one else in the class is obviously going to be able to say that that um whatever their argument is uh they're whatever uh yeah so um hopefully I mean I don't care if he doesn't do anything with it or not hopefully he does email me back and you know 
Maybe he'll hook me up with some tickets or something. That would be real cool. Because he is a cool guy if you follow him on Twitter, if you're a Sixers fan. He's really interactive in the community. But, uh, yeah, so that's 10 minutes. I don't want to make this really any longer. But, uh, yeah, join that sub contest. And Merry Christmas to everyone if I'm not gonna, if I don't make another video. I should make that sub contest video. But, but uh, the next possible game I might graph is either the... Hawks on the 21st or if not they go on a big road trip and it would be probably the Rockets or Nets on January 8th or Hornets or something like that but uh if not Merry Christmas or good luck in the sub contest so uh see you YouTube